Club is just a rescue of the rich. It has become apparent that it's so much more than that. There are global implications to this financial crisis, and while the experts are still cautioning you not to panic, it is clear that the crisis is already having a considerable impact on your own financial health. If it was only this easy to find new money for your next great idea, but more than anything else, it's a very dramatic change in the way banks worldwide now lend money that has led to the current financial crisis, even in Canada. We have an economy based on credit. Whether I'm borrowing money for a car loan, whether I'm borrowing money to expand my business, it's an economy based on credit. Well, right now, the financial institutions are not willing to lend. I mean, they're not comfortable, especially in the States, obviously, but there's, there's a confidence problem. I mean, banks don't want to lend to other banks. <laughs> Money's been so cheap in recent years, with record low interest rates and the housing market that seemed to only go up, it is perhaps not surprising Canadians kept piling up debt, some dangerously so. Who knows how much debt is floating with that yacht back there. In this economic crisis, for Canadians at least, those who are heavily in debt should be very worried. But most Canadians who are not over their heads in debt should be okay. But even if you're not over your head in debt, you can't escape the wrath. Here's how a financial and economic meltdown in the States can affect the pocketbooks of British Columbians. First off, almost all pension funds have plummeted, including your RSP and both public and corporate pension funds. And then there's the credit crunch. Borrowing money has suddenly become very difficult. You may thought you had a credit line, but all risks are being reassessed, and there's no reason the bank can't just say, your credit line is no more. With the money supply drying up, economic expansion slows. Businesses don't expand. No new jobs. Without expansion, companies and governments can ill afford to increase labor costs, so zero wage increases could be on the horizon. The people have lost confidence in the underlying things that make our system go. For example, uh, you know, they're getting phone calls at every financial institution down in the States. Are we okay? Are you next? Why? Because the main pillars of that economy or that financial system, big names, number one insurer a year ago, AIG just went down. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the biggest mortgage lenders, you know, Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch now taken over by Bank of America. These aren't small players. These are the pillars of their financial system. No wonder it's eroded confidence in that very system. Despite all the doom and gloom out there, you're still hard-pressed to find anyone predicting a recession for BC. A definite and dramatic slowdown for sure, but recession, no. Of course, those predictions could change quickly. The stock markets have proven that.